India has gifted solar panels to the United Nations. The solar panels will help conserve and generate electricity. They're likely to fulfill the power consumption needs of the UN headquarters, and these panels will be installed on the roof of the United Nations headquarters in New York City. The panels have a capacity to generate about 50 kilowatts of energy and are worth $1 million. A green roof also has been installed on the building as part of the gift from India. Now, in September last year, India's permanent representative to the UN, Sayyid Akbaruddin, had tweeted that India was the first responder to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres' call for climate action. Akbaruddin had said that at the time, India was funding the solar project at the United Nations headquarters to reduce its carbon footprint and promote sustainable energy. Now, India has been a frontrunner in propounding the Paris Agreement on climate change and has set itself ambitious targets in mitigating global warming. The International Solar Alliance set up in 2016 is an initiative by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. It is an alliance of more than 122 countries which lie either completely or partially between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. India has been a staunch proponent of harnessing renewable sources of energy such as solar energy. The recent endowment of solar panels to the United Nations is a move in this direction. Staying with news from the United States, hundreds of protesters gathered at the Washington Post headquarters to protest against their bias reporting on the issue of Kashmir. Now remember, most Western media companies, including the Washington Post, have been portraying the current situation in Kashmir as one of extreme turmoil, where the ordinary Kashmiris are being suppressed and all rights have been curtailed, which could not be further from the truth. It has also given a platform to writers who have made blatantly false claims regarding the ground situation. In reality, Jammu and Kashmir is well and truly on the road to normalcy, with over 90% of the region having no restrictions and day-to-day -day activities being carried out by the people. Now, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval has spoken out about the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. He said that the presence of the Indian Army in Kashmir Valley was only limited to fighting terrorists and that most people in Kashmir support the abrogation of Article 370. Doval was interacting with a group of journalists in New Delhi and he said that restrictions have been lifted in most parts of the valley and that only 10 districts in Jammu and Kashmir still have prohibitory orders. He also said that landline telephones have been restored fully in all areas. Doval reiterated that the fact that Pakistan-backed terrorists are constantly trying to create unrest in Jammu and Kashmir, and he says, and I quote, Pakistan is indulging in false and black propaganda and some uninformed people are taking one or two incidents as public opinion.